Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Uh, in this question, we can see a 73 years old lady with long standing arterial fibrillation develops a cold and pulseless voice. A brachial embolus is suspected and the brachial embolectomy is performed. Which is or uh, which of the following structure is at greatest risk of injury during this procedure? So here in this question we can see a 73 years old lady and it develops long standing arterial fibrillation and develops cold and pulseless voice up. And we know the arterial fibrillation it is one of the factors for development of the embolus and brachial embolus is suspected and brachial embolectomy is performed and we have to find out the structure which is greatest risk of the injury that means which of the structure is very closely located to the brachial artery and during the embolectomy procedure this structure may get damaged so here the options options are radial nerve cephalic vein ulnar nerve median nerve and none of the above so here first of all let's see some of the picture so here we can see this is the brachial artery now this brachial artery it is located anterior to the shaft of the humerus here we can see this is the lower end of the shaft of the humerus and here we can see this is the brachial artery and brachial artery passes anterior to this humerus and at the lower part of the elbow joint it divided into two parts one is the radial artery another one is the ulnar artery so it is the normal tracing of the brachial artery and in this first picture we can see this is the brachial artery and this brachial artery it passes you can see this uh, different group of the muscles and they pass downward downward and it traces in the cubital fossa and we can see a nerve is very close to this brachial artery and this nerve is the median nerve here we can see this median nerve first of all it located in the lateral foot then we can see this in the lower area it reaches in the anterior part then we can see it also reaches in the medial part so the median nerve so this median nerve it is very close so in all course of the brachial artery so during the embolectomy in the brachial artery there may be damage of the median nerve so our final answer is the median nerve because the median nerve is very close to the brachial artery so during the brachial embolectomy there is more possibility to damage of the median nerve other options here such as the radial nerve we know radial nerve lies posteriorly but brachial artery it lies anteriorly then cephalic vein cephalic vein is on the superficial vein then ulnar nerve ulnar nerve it passes more behind the medial epicondyle and more medial position relating to the brachial artery so our answer is now the medial nerve thank you all